the assumption that somehow we are all raving lunatics because we don't want to give birth in a hospital is is extraordinary. What most people don't understand is that having a baby in Australia, choosing care that is not mainstream, that the majority of women are forced into, is a very political thing. Our bodies, our babies, our choice. Australia is the last bastion of the Western world where, where medicine holds such power. The definitive study where you enrol a group of women in home birth and a group of women in hospital birth, it, it, it won't be done. There will always be biases, that study won't be done. The only issue at the front of my organisation is the safety of women and their babies. Once your baby's born, you make decisions on how you care for them, but with pregnancy and delivery, the expectation is that you don't make decisions, you just take advice. And, um, and that advice isn't always um, consistent between obstetricians, and it isn't always based on best medical evidence. Aboriginal child is not born to a family. Aboriginal babies is born to the community. I wanted to have Ambrose out here, but the doctor said no because it was a risk that something could happen. So I had to go to Alice Springs and sit for three weeks, which was really bad and horrible. And then when Liwana come along, I got to have her out here, which was a good thing, because I had all my family around me. The policy in the UK is very progressive. Women have a choice about where they give birth, who look after them, and the kind of birth that they want. This is an unusual maternity service because we have about 5,500 deliveries, of which about 2,000 take place either at home or in midwife-led units which most people in the developed world would think was either impossible or mad. If we truly use evidence, everything would be the same everywhere. But we don't use evidence, we just say evidence-based practice and then we use culturally-based practices everywhere. I call this the labour bypass era, where women are getting strong messages about that they don't really have to do their labours anymore. For the first time in the history of mankind, the number of women who give birth to the baby and to the placenta, thanks to the release of a cocktail of love hormones, this number is approaching zero. Home birth was the first place the partners were in the room, where women got off the bed, where alternative methods of pain relief were used, where different birthing positions were used. So home birth is the reason that anything good is happening in our maternity service today. I think there's a perception that only strong women have home births, which I find extraordinary because I think all women are strong. Things still go wrong in hospital and, and maybe, maybe some of the infrastructures that we build around normal healthy women actually make it less safe rather than more safe. I've had women in their 60s and 70s ring me to talk about births which they haven't yet worked through and this experience has stayed with them and incapacitated them. If we can get birth right, we have half a chance of getting society right. It's not a topic for doctors. It's not a topic for midwives. It's not a topic for pregnant women. It's a topic for all those interested in the future of humanity.